All right, so the next preview here, let's get started with the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. So if you watched my playoff bracket challenge and predictions that I posted on my channel uh, just a little bit ago, you will know who I predicted for this series. And yeah, this should be a very fun one, a very interesting one. Actually, I mean fun, but I said fun, but it's going to be pretty low scoring in my opinion. Maybe it'll be fun to some people, I guess. All right. So before we get started, here is my NHL playoff bracket that I posted earlier today and the bracket challenge and my explanations and all that. Yeah, I have Vegas winning the cup. It's a pretty out there pick in my opinion. I haven't seen anybody with Vegas winning the cup. I think it's possible. Yeah. All right. So without further ado, let's get started into our preview here. All right, so Carolina and New York. Game one is on Monday the 17th in Carolina at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Should be a fun one. Let's take a look at some of the numbers and the players before we go into some storylines. So let's first look at the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, so the Carolina Hurricanes, 52-21-9 on the year, 113 points. They scored 262 goals and allowed 210. Obviously, the goals again stand down a little bit more here. The top six skaters, Andrei Sveshnikov, is injured for the entire playoff run. So you can basically scratch that off. You have Ajo, Jarvis, Nason, Kotkaniemi, Teravainen, Marty Natchez. Top four defense, Jacob Slavin, Brent Burns, Brady Shea, and Brent Pesci. Their goaltenders, Freddie Anderson, 21, 11, and 8. Sorry, 21, 11, and 1 on the year. 2.4 equals this average 9 with 3 save percentage. On Team Ronta with an insane record of 19, 3, and 3. 2.23 equals this average 9, 10 save percentage. And Pyotr Kuchetkov, 12, 7, and 5. 2.44 equals this average 9, 1, 9 save percentage. He's in the AHL right now, but he's you know, always get called up. Power play 19.8%, 20th in the league. Penalty killing is second in the league at 84.4%. Season series 3 to 1 for Carolina, and they outscored the Islanders 12 to 9. Now for the New York Islanders, 42, 31, and 9, 93 points, 242 goals for 217 against. Your top six skaters, Anders Lee, Bo Horvat, Matt Barzell is coming back. So, sigh of relief for Islander fans. Pierre Engvall, Brock Nelson, and Kyle Palmieri. Up for defense, you have Adam Pellick, Ryan Pollock, Sebastian Ajo. It's Sebastian Ajo versus Sebastian Ajo. That's <laughs> so fun. And Scott Mayfield. Your goaltending. Vesna candidate Yildiz Sorokin, 31, 22, and 7, 2.34 goals in the average 9.24 save percentage. And their backup, Semyon Varlamov, 11, 9, and 2, 2.7 goals in the average 9.13 save percentage. Power play for the Islanders, 15.8%, 30th in the league. Penalty killing, 82.2%, 9th in the league. All right. So let's talk about some storylines here. Carolina, they have not moved past the second round since they swept the Islanders in four games to reach the 2019 Eastern Conference Final. Now, again, they finished top of their division, top of the Metro. And, yeah, I feel like anything short of, I think, a conference final appearance may not leave fans satisfied this time around. And the Islanders, they missed the playoffs last year with a down year, and they're right back into the mix this year. And the Islanders, in recent years, they always go quite far. 
They went toe to toe with Tampa in 2021 in the third round. So, like the Islanders, I'm sure they're glad to be back. And with some with some things going their way, they could take this one too and go far this time as well. It's going to be a hard fought series for sure. Now, for Carolina, Sebastian Ajo leading Carolina in goals again and second in points with 67. Marty Natius has more points. And with Sveshnikov out for the entire rest of the season and including all of the Stanley Cup playoffs, there's going to be a lot of focus on Sveshnikov, I would think, especially. Now, for the Islanders, Matt Barzell will be coming back. He's been injured since February the 18th. So, it's going to be a huge boost for New York. And the Islanders, they went 14-7-2 in their last 23 games without Barzell. But he's definitely their most, I'd say, best offensive player. He still finished second in points on the team, despite only playing 58 games. So... That's saying something, all right. Now, for the goaltending, I feel like here is where the Outers have a bit of an edge here. Is Ilya Sorokin, I think, has been a big reason why the Islanders even made the playoffs this year. I think they definitely have relied on him quite a bit. Not as much as Nashville relying on UC Soros, but they've definitely relied him, relied on him a fair share. For Carolina, I'm going to expect probably a tandem in the playoffs, not just Freddie Anderson playing this. You look at Rancha's record and you can't help but want to play him. And obviously, Pyotr Kochetkov is in the HL, and you can just call him up if you need to. Now, now he'll use Sorokin, obviously, best in the candidate if someone's going to steal the series, it would probably be him. Now, I think the Hurricanes pass the victory, I think, lies into them scoring. And if, we, we, if you've seen Carolina playoff hockey in the past, I think their biggest issue and something I have a big concern with with Carolina, I don't watch that many Carolina games or the Islanders, not an expert on either of these teams, but Carolina, I think, based on what I've seen from past playoff runs, they struggle scoring. They definitely do, especially in the playoffs. And they also struggle on the road. So the Islanders, they have to try to exploit that to their advantage and try to take this away from them. Now... Yeah, Carolina just needs to score, plain and simple. And for the Islanders, if you can stifle Carolina's offense, and with Sorokin being at the top of his game and Barzell sparking a bit of the offense, maybe Bo Horvath can go on another great playoff run like he did with Vancouver in 2020 in the bubble. He looked right there. He scored a lot. And even with a Vancouver this year, he scored a lot. Obviously, he's not going to score as much with the Islanders, but maybe he'll pull off something really cool, right? So let's take a look at some of the numbers here for Carolina first. Marty Natius leading it uh, with 28 goals, 43 assists for 71 points. Sveshnikov with 36 goals, 31 assists, 67 points. And Sveshnikov was injured for the rest of the season with 55 points in 64 games. Brent Burns, 61 points. He's been a great addition to this team. And Brady Shea with 38 points. They have had a lot of defense scoring, which is a good sign for them, honestly. And for the Islanders... Not a whole lot of production in terms of points, but they do get Matt Barzell back, which should help their case. Brock Nelson leads the team with 36 goals, 39 assists, 75 points. Matt Barzell second with 51 points, and Anders Lee with 50. 
On defense, Noah Dobson, 49 points, and Ryan Pollock with 26 points. Now my prediction here, I don't think this is a huge upset. I am going to predict an upset here, though, with the Islanders winning this in seven. Carolina's goal scoring concerns me. It does. And the Islanders are known for a very defensive style of hockey, and Carolina is pretty defensive as well. But I feel like playing defensive hockey is just what the Islanders ask for, and I feel like they might turn it on here in the playoffs and give Carolina everything they can handle. I'm sure Carolina's the favorite, but I feel like if there's going to be an upset in round one, it would be this one. I think it wouldn't surprise me at all to see the Islanders off a win here and potentially we could see a New York versus a New York matchup in round two who knows certainly it's going to be fun I think it's not going to be the most entertaining in terms of goal scoring but the defense should be interesting to watch for sure so let me know who you think is going to win this series in the comment section below and yeah feel free to lambast me argue. I'm glad to hear it. Obviously, I love chatting about hockey with all you people. That's going to be it for this preview. Our next one should be coming up relatively soon. Also, check out my uh, Stanley Cup Playoff Bracket Challenge, which has been uploaded on my channel just a little earlier today, so check that out. Stay tuned for more, more previews coming up, and we'll see you later. Take care.